Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another Full Game Recap. Once again, rolling with the run-heavy offensive playbook and also the multiple defense uh, D that I'm using. Uh, using Atlanta Falcons as my team, and my opponent has got the Houston Texans. So uh, something a little bit different, nice little change of pace. And um, he's getting the ball right away, and he comes out uh, of an empty set. Uh, I didn't have my defense set up correctly, so I just bounce it to a cover two. And look at this. He actually pops uh, Hopkins up in the area, area and actually gets a nice big completion. So first and ten situation. Um, Rage blitz a little bit here. I go with the 52 uh, cover two blitz. Uh, he doesn't make his reads quick enough. So second and 18 situation. Once again, same pressure, same play, same results. Another sack. So third and long situation. Situation. Third and 25. Uh, he comes into a different set right here. Uh, he is going uh, with uh, trips off to the right. Uh, he actually picks up the block, but I get another blitz right there. So three consecutive blitzes in a row. Smartly, smartly, smartly kicks the ball off to me. So uh, once, uh, once again, I'm using this tight formation. I'm trying to establish the run. Um, right there, he's got a basically good run fits. He's running a, a bare defense. And he's got a bunch of guys off to the right, uh, and they don't make any kind of reaction. He was using a man blitz. Uh, so I try to go ahead and hit him with a man blitzer, but see, the pressure comes off the edge. Even though I've got six people blocking, uh, it, was just, it wasn't just—it was enough to account for his blitzing. So I switch into a different play. I go into drive. I'm running out of time. I had to hack, hike the ball. I'm actually looking for the crosser. He's taking it away manually, and I get sacked myself. So two, three and outs on both sides of the ball. Uh, he's uh, he got the ball back. I had my opportunity to go up on a score, go and get the second half, getting the ball. So it's kind of a tough situation. So he goes with uh, the little fullback swing route. Uh, he's able to pick up a few yards with it, but it kind of is established that he's willing to go underneath. So uh, that kind of changes things up a little bit. Uh, going back into the 52 blitz once again, I manned up his wide receiver. He goes with a run. Does not. Uh, make uh, it doesn't have a really good stick right there because he's spinning a little bit too early and spin right into my defender. So third and nine situation once again. I'm gonna go ahead and man up Hopkins. I don't want him to beat beat me deep. Uh, going with the blitz, trying to get the pressure in. I'm not really worried about making any kind of adjustments on the backhand side uh, because those guys are covered. And right here, he actually hits a fade route with Hopkins, gets a good animation. So two big plays to Hopkins. They get some pretty good yards right here. So um, go into my um, safety blitz defense using uh, yellow zones. Crossing over, trying to take away the run. Now I, I take Hopkins and I cross man him off the back and side, play the flats, and I'm just looking for some reads right here. And he actually takes off this quarterback. So gets a third and one situation. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the same defense, but this time I'm going to go ahead and contain uh, my defensive end on the back end side. I don't want him to take off this quarterback. And sure off, he doesn't have any reads, so I'm going to send the dogs after him, and he has to get rid of the ball. And what he does smartly is settle for the three points. You see a lot of people that make a lot of stupid decisions uh, in uh, regs where they don't take the points. That was a smart thing to do. So uh, I jump into the trio set. Not a single back. Uh, this is a spot route. Basically, I'm looking for the spot route on the back end side. He, he's running a lot of man coverages, and Sanu is able to come up with a nice, tough completion, get me uh, basically nine yards. Come back to the pitch play right here, and um, this is probably the few times I actually run this pitch because his defense was really was that guy. See, the, that guy actually got I had to, I had to spin out of that, so he was going to get a free free look at the running back in the backfield. So uh, I'm just struggling this against this guy's defense. He's running a lot of man blitzes, so I actually go ahead and dot him up uh, with a tight end corner. One of my favorite plays in this tight end bunch set. And then I go ahead and hit him with uh, with a, 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 a sail concept off the right hand side. Don't get the uh, don't get a spin animation, but I'm able to go ahead and pick up four yards and just make him think about that flat on the back inside. Come back to the corner route again, and uh, I'm able to go and pop it. He stays in bounds. I stayed in bounds, and I, it did not look like I was in, but I, was, I, I got in, so I got pretty lucky with that. So you can see I'm chewing the clock down as much as possible. He was running a lot of different zones. He's flipping in the zone, so I just jumped into a halfback draw. It's one of the better things to do down in the red zone, especially if you've got guys running cover four, cover two, cover three. Uh, it's it's going to pick up those blocks. So I get the ball down to the one-yard line. I'm just chewing the clock down as much as possible. Take a timeout. Probably should have left a little bit more time. Should have Probably should have done that in about 10 seconds, but I didn't get him an opportunity. I got Sanu on a drag route. That's my first three, but the guy slide into his area, so I go ahead and throw over the middle, and he's just lurking right there. 
but I get the hugest break ever. Uh, he does not come down with the ball. No one touches the ball down in the red zone, and I'm able to go ahead and settle for three points to tie the score. So I got away with one in that play. I sure did. So getting the ball back in the second half here, and back in the trio set. Uh, he's manning the line of his guys, but you can see, look at, look at, there's nobody off to the right-hand side, nobody in the area, and his, he's using a slow defender, so I'm able to go and pick up an easy six yards, eight yards off that run play. So now he's got to defend that right side. That's gonna, that, that creates, uh, creates a, a little situation. So I just hit him with a little uh, dive right up the middle of the field. Go back to, uh, let's see here, the pitch play, or do I go into, I go into the passing play right here. Uh, and then flip back into uh, the uh, cross right here. I actually try to throw it over the middle and get a nice little reception with Hooper, but he drops the ball. So fourth and one situation. Um, right here, I go ahead and uh, jump back into a table concept. Nobody comes out there, so I'm going to go and take the easy yards, get a nice little spin move right there, and get it down to the 40-yard line on a fourth and one situation. I'm sure he's pretty pissed off about that. Back to the pitch play again. He was adjusting his guys around. He actually had a, uh, his guys that would uh, manually adjust right away, so I'm able to go and take uh, and get an easy first down on that. So go into uh, the slot, uh, slot option play right here. Look to the seam. Look underneath, he takes the underneath, but right here the deep comeback route is wide open for an easy completion and able to get the ball down on the six yard line. So I think he jumps into a cover three shell right here and this is where I do, I'm going to be looking for uh, Jones in the back of the, the end zone. He gets the animation right there and able to come down and go up 10 to three. So two minutes left, not a lot of scoring after this. So I go into my uh, safety blitz defense. He actually hits the flat once again with that little swing route no huddles so I change up my defense I flip it I've got a cover six on that side uh, he actually does not make any reads he actually throws the ball I don't know where that ball was going it's probably because he's running all over the place he didn't he didn't have any progressions or reads in that play so back to the 52 defense I want to go ahead and show him some pressure and get him with a sack so third and long situation third and 19 I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go with the safety blitz I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put my guys in deep inside corners in the middle uh, and, and actually go ahead and put a guy on a spy. So if he actually gets us out of the pocket, I'm going to go and send the spy. He throws the ball up crazily. I've got four defenders back there and I'm going to go and pick them off and take the ball down to the 40 yard line. I tried to try to make a very aggressive move. It didn't work out for me right there. So back to the pitch play again. He actually put some kind of a t contain guy out there. That, 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 that linebacker just cleaned it up. So this is a play that I've been playing around in the lab. I'm just trying to if I get some reads right there, and actually his defense, I throw the ball a little bit too early, late, I don't know, it was just it was just a bad read. So uh, third and 14 situation, go back to the cor uh, the uh, safety corner, and I'm going to go ahead and pop this, and once again, my defender comes down with the ball, and I get a first down. It's just, I was hitting the sidelines and getting away with some crazy, crazy luck with the animation. Uh, nice little stretch play right here, the pitch uh, he was anticipating. So I go back, um, and I'm trying to do the inside dive, and right here I'm trying to highlight the, the tackle, but his linebacker he was using wasn't even covered, so I just I just didn't even run by him. So third and two situation, assuming he's playing with some kind of a cover two shell, I go ahead and fake a bunch of audibles. It's a good thing to do uh, if you're going to do a run play. It just messes up your opponent, but right here his defensive tackle comes right off my block, and actually gets a first down. So, or it doesn't get a first down. So fourth and three situation. I'm going to my money play, which is a spot route. That spot route on the back end side is always going to get available. It's always going to get clear. And right here, I go and throw it right in front of his defender, and he pops the ball out with his user, and actually gets the ball back. So. Three minutes and 48 seconds left. He's feeling pretty good. I start rage blissing this guy. He actually makes a good read and actually drops a dot on Hopkins. Basically, it's pretty much his only offense he's got is, is these long balls with Hopkins where he's throwing in the coverage. Uh, but he actually drops a nice little play right here. Comes back, throws the ball across his body, doesn't get the type of stuff that he wants to do because he's just running around like a, with his head cut off. Right here, I switch up. I go with the man coverage uh, in this type of situation. I actually don't have anybody on the uh, on the guys right here, but you can see the pressure just comes in hot, 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 hot. Get him in a third and 20 situation. So right now, I go into a different look with my safety blitz. I'm going with a cover two shell, and I've, I'm blitzing six. So he's going to have to block six uh, to be able to stop this. And he actually blocks seven, running only two routes, throws it up in the middle, and not getting the animation. 
Thomas drops the ball in the red zone, and he's forced to go for it in fourth and 20. Um, that was a lucky, lucky break. So I just go into just to cover four drop. Put everybody over the top right here. Um, I think I crashed down. I didn't, I didn't want to give this guy any opportunity and actually spy up my tackle just to have somebody out there. But he's just chucking the ball up, and I'm able to go and pick the ball off in the red zone to get it over with. So game's not over. He's only down by sco uh, one score, so he's still got an opportunity. I just need to go ahead and chew up the clock here, and I'm feeling pretty good about it. So I'm going to just hit him with a nice little dive. Good blocking right there. Get the ball uh, with, uh, with the six-yard gainer. Go back to the pitch play. Go back into the uh, into the into the dive. Just hit him with the dive once again. He actually almost got into the gap, and I pick up I think a yard or two. Yeah, I got I pick up a couple yards and that's a good play. Now I go into a play that I actually have used pretty successfully uh, down in the red zone. So we're down in the uh, down when I need some some yards, and I actually hit the deep crosser on the back inside because he's playing underneath, and I'm able to go ahead and get into field goal range against him. And I'm just chewing the clock down right here. Uh, invertedly chewed away too much clock took a took a penalty so a minute and 15 right now I'm just trying to burn his timeouts nice run defense he fits the gap right there with that with that halfback toss which is a very good run, a very good play and this is the play that's been bailing me out when I needed yards deep corner route should be open I missed it because his defender was in the area I was worried about him doing a Superman I'll just go ahead and take the sack because really the the the, the, the clock is against him right now so I'm just running the clock down as much as possible 40 seconds I can go ahead and kick the ball off look at the time right now um, I basically burned it was at 50 seconds he had no timeouts burned it all the way down I actually kick a a, 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 a little uh, punt right there three seconds down on a seven yard line what is he going to do? He can't do anything. So I just man everybody up, expect to make a play, and I'm able to go and pick, pick up an easy win. So once again, to my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys. Uh, I really appreciate it. I'll be rolling out some more videos before Madden 2020 drops, and I'm looking forward to going ahead and breaking out new schemes for you in 2020. Thanks a lot. Until next time.